When this president's name came up uh, during the award discussions, I quickly said if he doesn't get it, I quit. <laughs> when that didn't really seem to bother Jeff, I changed my tune. <laughs> Fortunately, my threat wasn't needed. This president not only served in Coon Rapids as an amazing leader for over 20 years, when he transferred up north to his homeland, he kept that great work going. Around campus, he's every student's friend. Off campus, he drives an old pickup and wears blue jeans. This is a campus president that knows the value of a dollar and knows what it means to have someone you can talk to in administration. But that's the thing. He doesn't really act like administration. I've never heard of a student that has approached him and not walked away feeling respected, listened to, and happier for the experience. He's known to dip into personal reserves when a group of students can't take a trip. He's known for getting the most out of his faculty, staff, and foundation members. He's known for being a great man and a phenomenal campus president. The students that nominated this president are some of the most interesting, active, and sometimes challenging, I'm talking to you, Brian, <laughs> that Minnesota has to offer. And they all love him like I do. Yeah. Even though I'm still mad LSC took him away from my home campus, I want you all to give a big round of applause for the college president of the year, Dr. Pat Johnson. Well, thank you very much. Uh, I really have appreciated the work that David did in, in the Senate at Mocha Ramsey Community College uh, over the years. Uh, you know, it's interesting, this organization uh, seems to find the leadership uh, year after year. And you think that, well, from one year to the next, how can we ever replace the kind of leadership that's here this year? And yet, if you talk about continuous improvement, this organization continues to dip in, reach down deep, and do even better the next year. So you have people like David, Travis, Jeff, I mean, just fantastic leadership, and I know you've elected new leadership next year that will try to even top that. And so. You've done a very good job, and I want to thank MSCSA and, and all of your leadership. And I can't leave out Justin as well. Uh, Justin, where did he go? Oh, there he is, over on the side. You know, you do need that, that strong leadership that works for the organization, but also provides some of the continuity that's needed. And Justin, you've done a great job as well. So I congratulate all of you. And tonight I'd particularly like to thank the uh, Lake Superior College Student Senate under the leadership of Brian Sanner. Um, this award recognition tonight is a surprise, uh, and I really take this recognition seriously. Um, presidents over the years receive awards and so forth for various things, but when you get it for the people that you're here working for, from the students themselves, from all of you, uh, that has more meaning than a chamber recognition or a Kiwanis rep recognition. Uh, all those are good, but uh, I think we ought to be working for students, and I think that uh, you know when I get the when I get this kind of recognition, I truly appreciate it and take that seriously. So thank you all for that. I think that uh, one of the things that we tackled first at Lake Superior College was an administrative reorganization. We were in financial difficulty; we needed to make some changes, and I think the faculty, staff, the students really pulled together. We made a, an administrative change of about three quarters of a million dollars in savings to the students in paying for tu in tuition. And I think that's the kind of activity that students can guide and provide advice to, and hopefully the administration responds to it. And, and I think it's, it's important. That has helped us remain the second lowest tuition in the state of Minnesota for our general tuition rate. And a president can't just do that president needs cooperation, understanding from faculty, from staff, and particularly students, because you're paying the bill. And uh, I've really received that uh, support and acknowledgement, and I think uh, guidance from our student senate at Lake Superior College, so thank, thank you very much. And I think um, the other is, uh, when you talk about an impact, I think this student senate at Lake Superior College uh, has initiated a student legacy project. And it's to take a section of the campus, and uh, it's just bare grass. Um, it's worse than that, isn't it? Uh, it's, it's, it's not a very attractive area, really. And they are working on designing and reconfiguring that area for uh, a stone walking path, for some not natural grasses. Um, and uh, I think Brian Sander led that effort, and the Senate has pulled together, supported it. I think we're going to see a transformation in that section of the campus. But the whole idea is leaving a legacy that the Senates in the future will continue to shape that area, build on it, add to it, and make it even more attractive and useful to students. And, and that's, a, that's an example of how you make a difference. It's, it's down at the legislature, it's locally with the community, and it's right on campus year after year. So 
it's been enjoyable for me over many years to watch that happen on campuses and Lake Superior College is, is uh, doing a great job at that. My last comment, I think a president can only hope that working hard we can make a difference for students. But I can tell you that I know you, the students, and the Senate make a difference year after year after year. So thank you very much for this recognition. I appreciate it.